Hi, I'm Martin Hardy. One of the challenges that we often have with new scrolling designs is not the designs themselves, but in showing them to people in corporate environments where PowerPoint or other presentation modes are heavily used. And often it's hard to get these designs to come across in that kind of format. For instance, here's one that we've done at Cisco around unified access solutions. And you'll see it's a very nice design. There are a lot of really cool features, but to explain them to various teams that are looking at them, um, we'd really like to be able to annotate and talk to them in a PowerPoint um, beyond just showing them now that they're live on the website. We could just show them on the website. So one trick we've used is to use uh, the push transitions and some cropping in PowerPoint to make this kind of simulate what the experience would be like. And here's an example I put together of this very screen and you can see how it works. Um, I've dropped the, the actual screen capture in and then as I click, it will push the page up but it'll look like it's scrolling, which is pretty neat. People really like this and it gives you a full size screen that you can really read what's going on with enough space on the side to do some annotations. And you can see you can have quite a long page and do this and show it off. Um, I put together a PowerPoint deck with an example of this with some tips um, and also an example of a fancier first slide that you can use if you want to show <clears throat> the before design and then click and have it wipe with some internet sparkles to the new design. So let me show you how this is done, um, which is very simple in fact. Um, what you do is set up a slide, you drop the image in, and then depending on your version of PowerPoint, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, the actual access to the different tools will vary. But the main thing that you want to do is to get into the picture tools area and crop the image, click crop. And what you'll see when you go down, you can see there's a very, very long image I've dropped here of the entire screen. But you'll see these little crop marks down at the bottom and what you want to do is just crop them to the slide. And it'll be obvious why in a second. So if I go up here, it'll jump to the slide. I can crop it right here just as I'm doing. And it's giving me a perfect crop. When I deselect, you'll see it cuts off the image at the top and bottom, or in the bottom in this case. And that's true, even though the rest of the image is there, it crops it off. So then we can duplicate this slide. And now I'm in the duplicate. I can get rid of this text up above. I might in another, if I had more time, choose a different format and oh, always be careful what you're selecting. And then what I can do is select the image again. I'll choose crop and you'll see the crop marks return. And I can note what the bottom of this page was, which is right below these two, um, simplify your network and deliver your mobile connectivity components here. Um, basically what I want to do is grab the image and just scroll it up within the actual cropping. And because it's cropped, if I do it the right way, it will just move up seamlessly and stay nicely in place. And I can just check that this is uh, at the top of the cropping, which isn't yet. So I'll move it up just a little bit more there. Um, and then the next thing I'll do, I can get rid of the slide title thing. Of course, it won't show up there in the real presentation mode. I can select the two slides and go over to transitions and make sure that the transition selected is push, which is an unusual transition for PowerPoint. Most people don't use it because it's a little distracting, but it's perfect for this. And so we can test it now. If I go into presentation mode, 
you'll see this page comes up and then when I click it wipes as if I were scrolling and all I need to do then is change the annotations on what the descriptions are so that in a nutshell is how it's done